mutual funds, and adventures in pronouns. So the subject of the sentence, a mutual fund, this is singular. And notice that in three of the answers, it's, we refer to that by the plural pronoun they. Rarely do they hold, rarely, rarely do they hold. So the they, plural, can't refer to a singular subject. So right away, C, D, and E are all out. In B, we have what's called the empty it. It is rare. It's very rare that the empty it is something correct on the GMAT. It is almost always a wordy, indirect construction. And in particular, it is rare to hold. It's unclear at this point. Are we still talking about the mutual funds? Are we talking about something else in general? It's a very unclear, awkward construction. So that's incorrect. And that leaves us right away with answer choice A. Companies rarely holding, blah, blah, blah. This is very direct. It is sleek. It is free of grammatical errors. And it is by far the best answer choice.